Hello, welcome to this video. In just 13 minutes, we are going to see how to use the free version of Elementor, one of the best plugin editors for your WordPress websites, especially if you are not keen on the block editor or you want to expand the editor abilities you do not have in most of WordPress themes. Elementor comes with a pro version that helps at building your website from scratch and adding more complex elements starting from $49 US dollars per year. To follow this video, you need to know the basics of WordPress. Make sure to catch our dedicated tutorial to recover these. The official page of Elementor shows more information on its plugin and also offers a hosting service service we won't see. Catch the official link from our video description below. Let's suppose you have a WordPress website ready. To get Elementor, just open the plugin page of WordPress and search for it. Install and activate it so that it appears on the left side. Now, let's create a new page. Set its title and click on Edit with Elementor. To finally open the Elementor editor with its wide live view preview on the page. This editor is very simple. It divides your website into blue blocks, each made by one or multiple elements inside, which can be text, lists, images, and much more. On the left, you get the main panel where you can browse for any element or adjust any property. On the preview, you can edit elements and also use the plus button to add a new block and then select the layout the elements inside must follow. At this point, drag and drop any element inside the preview, for example, a heading, and click on it to type in, clicking outside to apply. Click within any element to select it and adjust its properties on the left under three sections above. With Content and Style, you set and adjust the element content and its appearance, depending on the kind of element chosen. When selecting headings, the Content section allows you to edit content, add hyperlinks, change the text size or its alignment. Under Style, adjust font color, transparency, and font family. Add stroke with proper thickness and color, or some shadow. Under Advanced, you find other options that do not change with the kind of element selected. With Layout, you can adjust margin and padding from the blue block containing the element, disabling the link button to insert different values per side. Below, set an absolute width and position and set a CSS ID or class to the element without any dot or hashtag. With motion effects, you can add animations with proper duration and delay. On Transform, you can rotate the element, add some offset, scale, or flip it. Switch to Background to edit the element background by adding color, importing a custom image, or applying a colored gradient. With border, adjust the box borders, the corner radius, or add some shadow. On responsive, select whether to show the element on desktop, tablets, or on mobile right away. To save the page, go to Save Draft in the bottom left corner. Below the heading, we can add a text paragraph with the text editor element. Just type inside and adjust properties on the left, such as formatting and style. You can also make lists or add hyperlinks, for example, to link an image. You can remove this hyperlink by clicking on the chain icon. Click on Toolbar Toggle to show more advanced properties in order to change style, font color, add quotes, 
adjust paragraph distribution, add symbols, and apply indentation. At the bottom, set the text columns for the paragraph, applying distance with columns gap. Under Style, adjust the appearance of the entire paragraph, including color, font family and style, and apply shadow. You can undo any change with Control or Command and Z. You can also add images by dropping image elements. Just browse for your image from your WordPress media library or upload one. Adjusting size and alignment under content. With caption, you can add an image caption in case this does not load and use link to apply a hyperlink directing to any media file or a website page. Under Style, customize the image width, maximum width, and height. Use Opacity to adjust transparency and apply a great border with proper style, line thickness with width, color, and corner radius. With Hover, you can run an animation on the image when you hover over it, adjusting its duration properly. Drop a spacer element to add an empty space between two independent blocks or within a single block to separate two elements. To edit any element, select it and right-click on it to edit it with the left panel, duplicate it, or remove it with Delete. Drop a divider element to add a line separator. Customize its line style, width and alignment, or add some text. Apply an HTML tag or a cool icon. Switch to style to change the line color, thickness with weight, and spacing with gap. Drag and drop a video element to include an embedded video within your page. On the left, select the video source between YouTube Vimeo, or your own WordPress library. Just paste the direct link and trim the video by defining start and end time. You can also enable autoplay, mute audio, add looping, hide and show player controls, and enable privacy mode to avoid data collection. With image overlay, you can change the video thumbnail to take over the default one from YouTube. Switch to Style to change the aspect ratio and apply advanced CSS filters. Drop an intersection element to add a complex block with more elements put together with a proper layout. Just click on the plus button to add each element within it. To import buttons, you can drag and drop the button element, adjusting type, its annotation and destination link. Also, set its alignment, size, and icon, and assign a unique HTML ID if you need. Switch to Style to customize text font and properties. Apply Shadow, adjust the color for both button and text, and set the complete border options we have seen for other elements. With an icon element, you can add a single icon, adjusting its appearance, applying a hyperlink, and correcting its alignment. You can even import a Google Maps element, defining a reference location and the map zoom and height. This is the result of the page. From the bottom left corner, Click on the I button to get a complete and functional preview of your page as a visitor. You can also switch to Responsive Mode to check your page across different devices between desktop, tablets, and smartphones. With History, you can move across your modifications made in order. 
whereas with Navigator, you get a brief overview of all the elements composing your page. If the page sounds good, go to Publish to launch it online. Elementor is a great editor to manage and make posts as well. When you open any post, go to Edit with Elementor to use the Elementor plugin on it. This enables you to read its blocks completely so that you can edit them or add other elements. Below the Pro section, available under a subscription plan, you get the General section with more advanced elements you can add. Drop an Image Gallery to import an image gallery with properties set from the left. Switch to Image Carousel to add a slideshow by importing images and adjusting options such as appearance, autoplay, and speed. Use STARS rating to ask for feedback, defining scale, default rating, icon type, title and alignment on the left. Always switch to style to adjust appearance, spacing, and color. You can also add a progress bar by adding a title, the default percentage, and its complete appearance with style. Whereas with tabs, you can add multiple text paragraphs or media files under each tab independently. Other elements, such as the image box and the icon box, allow you to get a ready layout to customize. For example, an image or an icon complete with heading and paragraph. Check these out. At the bottom, you get even more advanced elements, including the most common WordPress widgets. Once you are ready, you can go to Settings in the bottom left corner to set the post options including Title, Status, and Featured Image. You can come back to the WordPress Block Editor by clicking in the top left corner and going to Exit. From the WordPress plugin, you can click on Elementor to set all the main options for it. You can change the user permissions at different levels or switch to Replace URL to change the main URL of your home page, whereas go to Maintenance Mode to enter into this mode while performing updates in your website. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Visit our YouTube channel and our website to get useful tips, giveaways, and free tutorials on WordPress, CMS, and much more.